Hey friends, welcome back to Whiskey and Wit. I'm so excited to share with you this DIY for these three four by four post firecrackers. These were a scrap pile project for me and I'm so excited to show you how I made them. So stay tuned. So like I mentioned, these were scrap pieces. Alex cut them to three different heights for me. The tallest one was 25 inches, then 23 inches, and then 21 inches. Step one is to kind of paint and prime all in one. So I grabbed my white Waverly chalk paint and painted all three posts all the way around the outside in the white color. And these are all treated lumber because these were left over from our fence project, but you do not need treated lumber for this project. I took the shortest one and measured five inches from the top. This is the 21 incher. And that is where I was going to start marking with my painter's tape. The shorter one is about 25% stars and about 75% stripes. So I'm marking off this area. So then that way I know where to put my painter's tape. Then I'm going to try to get this as straight as possible. I just did it pulling taut and pulled it around the outside. You can measure all the way around the outside, but I had so many projects to do this day. I did not have time to be messing around with that. So I eyeballed it the best that I could and it turned out fine. So I'm not too worried about it. Again, I always say this, but if you're OCD and if something's a little bit off, that's not me as far as these projects, but if it is, definitely measure it out so you aren't pulling your hair out of your head. Once that top line was all set up, I went through and on every side, I did one strip of the painter's tape down the center. And this is about a little south of an inch and a half painter's tape. And then I took the second tallest one, so the 23 incher, and I used a piece of tape as a spacer and I did stripes all the way down. Now this one is just gonna be strictly red and white, so you want stripes from the top to the bottom. Then I went through with Crimson from Waverly Chalk Paint, one of my favorites, and just painted the vertical stripes on the smallest one and then also the horizontal stripes on the medium sized one. Once that was dry, I removed the vertical painter's tape from the smallest one. I used that horizontal piece of tape and I just reused it so then that way I could use it for the blue section. So just peel it off and then put it back on. The kicker here is to make sure that it matches up with the top of the red so then that way your colors match up perfectly. And then finally I made some four inch stars on my Cricut just with some quick cover from the Dollar Tree and I went and put those on each of the four sides. I didn't mess with Mod Podge with this one, so I used the dabbing method. If you pull the paint, you're gonna get it underneath, so I just went up and down in a stippling motion and it worked just fine. Also, less is more with the paint. And then I repeated that same step with four inch and two inch stars around the tallest 25 inch post. Once you make sure everything is stuck down, you can use that same stippling motion around all of these stars with that blue. That is called Ocean from Waverly Chalk Paint. It's not as navy as I would want, but I'll deal with it. I love this part for the reveal. I just went through and used my little weeding tool that I use with my Cricut to pull everything off. You could definitely use tweezers. Tweezers, dental picks, there's a lot of different things that you can use, but you just need something that'll get the edge up so you can peel it. I was so happy with how the stickers ended up working. I was concerned that I was gonna have a lot of bleeding, but just enough to make it look rustic, nothing crazy. And the painter's tape worked so well. I used Scotch Blue. And like I mentioned before, this is a little under an inch and a half. I think it's a 1.4 inch. Now that we're done with the post, we are going to make the ends of the little firecrackers. So I grabbed these little stars from Michael's. I used a 40% off coupon and then used my red and blue paint to cover them. I did two stars per post, so six in total, two of each color. And you're going to want to paint the front and the back as well as the edges. Just so then that way, when you see it, you won't have weird unfinished edges. 
the last step, I took some decorative rope from the Dollar Tree to use them as kind of the little lighter fuses. I eyeballed the strips, probably about seven or eight inches, and then I just used some hot glue in the center of each of them to hook down the rope. And I used a liberal amount and then I stuck it down at kind of an angle instead of putting the tip straight down because I thought that would fall off. So I put it kind of horizontally across the top and it seemed to work out really well. I repeated that step on all three of them. And then the final touch was to add those little stars once they were dry. So I put a strip of glue from the top tip of the star all the way down to the bottom and I glued it on either side and I just held it really tightly and it stayed really, really well. I used a generous amount of glue and here you have it. This is what they look like when they are finished. I am so proud of these. I love that this wood was just literally sitting at our house. I like that it has cracks in it and things like that, but like I said, you don't need the weather treated lumber. If you're gonna leave these outside, I would recommend a clear coat or polyacrylic just so then it is weather resistant. And bonus, it matches my new doormat that we just got from Home Depot. I hope this inspired you to make over your porch for the summer in some patriotic decor. I have a full patriotic 4th of July, whatever you wanna call it, playlist, which I will link right here for you. Be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss a future video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.